place in East LA in an area named Watts. Um, during the 1960s and 70s, Watts was like really infested with like a lot of just different gangs. Um, Lewis, Lewis' life involves poverty, violence, um, drugs, sex, beatings, arrest, and all of this other um, like bad things. He joined the gangs when he was only 11 years old, so he was really young. Um, so eventually in the book, Lewis tries to overcome his gang life into a more successful life, which is like writing his book and everything. So after he becomes like, you know, a better person, his son Ramiro uh, decides to like join gangs as well. So his overall like, um, I guess purpose of writing this book was to like, uh, stop like Ramiro and you know other generations of kids, uh, women and men, uh, to to find like a, a hope for them so they can um, stop the like the gang life and that there always is a way out, out of gangs and you know straight life. Um, okay, so my first quote is: I have no position on the issue before us to stay in LA or to go. What does it matter? I've been a red hot ball, bouncing around here and there. Anyone can bounce with whatever. And so my first image, image is called the reluctant, reluctant traveler. It's spelled like that. I don't know. It's spelled like that. And then it's by <clears throat> Catherine Jeans. So for the this first image, the suitcase uh, can represent instability in Lewis's life, since they're always moving like back and forth. And just like the quote says, anyone can bounce them. No one really cares about what he what he wants or you know his morals. Um, and just like a suitcase, it could be anywhere from place to place. You know, Mexico, Chicago, and LA, where he was traveling back and forth. Um, the little boy can represent represents uh, Louis. His face expressions and hand gestures represent his loss of hope for you know um, living in a low life which is like in the area of, of what? The blurred, no, the grass over here represents like his nature, you know, his surrounding his parents, his family, and everything like that. And the fact that the blur, it's blurry right here represents that he's um, isolated from his surrounding because in, in school, he, in, while in school, he, um, he really doesn't have any friends or his teacher doesn't support him because he, fa he faces racism because he's Mexican and he's not, um, he doesn't speak uh, fluent English and stuff like that, so he faces that. Um, and this, my other quote is, what to do with those whom society cannot accommodate, criminalize them, all other their actions and creations, declare them the enemy then wage war. Emphasize the differences, the shade of skin, the accent, and the speech or manner close. Place society seals on them, then stone them in absolution. It's convenient, logical. It doesn't work. So the cops represent Lewis in his journey eventually throughout the book to overcome and to stop the gang life in, in Watts. Uh, the the man, the rebellious Cholos, as referred in the book, represent Ramiro and, you know, his generations to to just be rebellious against, you know, people that are trying to help him, like Luis is trying to help, you know, his son Ramiro and stuff like that. And then the other people around here, and just the fact that it has a fence represents uh, what society and their incapability and their unproductive actions to against, you know, the gang life and just, you know, they stay, stay there and being able, unable to do anything. Let's go ahead. Let's buy more for you. Um, my last quote is, 20 years ago, at 18 years old, I felt like a war veteran with a sort of post-traumatic stress disorder. I wanted to paint to end the self-consuming hate to wither. So like, with the help of those who saw potential in me, I got out. So, <clears throat> the the bird represents Lewis and the fact that it's, you know, dark, it represents how in the past, how even though he, he, he got out and he's free, uh, there's no, you know, possible ways to 
took care, you know, deep cuts from his past, like, you know, all the beatings he saw, all the killings he saw, his, his, his friends were killed by, you know, a young age and everything. And then the fact that this, the, like the dark, obscure circle around the, the white represent, you know, like, like I was saying, the past and everything. And so he's trying to achieve like a more successful life, which eventually he does by writing other books and becoming a, a really great author on other poems and stuff. And then this fence, I thought of it as like, you know, it, it also is, is used like in jail and how it's really hard for like jail inmates to, to break up, you know, out of the jail. And so it's like, it represents Lewis and how it, it was hard for him to overcome his gang legs, his gang uh, life, and, and also help his son not to become who he was in his teenage years and, and help other generations or like teenagers like, you know, us and, and everyone else so they won't follow the same path that he did and learn from his experience. Seen it, it's that in the liver is a great representation of this book.